Alrighty, welcome to this latest edition of our Mazda CX-5 and Mazda 6 engine failure. This one uh, engine failed because the oil pump chain snapped. Um, and in fact, these engines still run with that chain snapped. Um, they just they run it idle, they won't allow you to rev them or anything. Um, but you shouldn't run it, obviously, because there's no oil pressure. So, um, if this had been at the Mazda garage, they would simply had would have estimated the cost of replacing that chain, gears, clips, bolts, all that kind of stuff. You get a bill for about two grand, you drive it down the road, and about two days later, your engine fails. And you take it back to them and they think, oh, sorry, sir, you need a new engine now. And you're like, okay, hang on, I just give you two grand, two grand to fix an oil pump chain, and you're now saying I need a new engine at six grand. So how does that work? So the reason for that is you cannot simply replace an oil pump drive chain and expect the engine to work. The engine has already been running with no oil pressure and so it's done damage. So it doesn't work that way. So there's been metal on metal contact. Um, so well, what do we mean by that? Well, let's have a look. So here is our crankshaft on the floor. This, that, for those of you who don't know what a crankshaft is, this item there, here's our engine block. Our crankshaft sits in these recesses, and then in between the recesses we have what's called a shell bearing. So we have a shell bearing for each of those recesses, and as you may guess, there is a cover goes on top with a shell bearing on the up, up side to hold it all in place. So, when the engine is running and the oil pump is turning, Oil will come out of this, these holes through into the, into the shell bearing. It will be pumped at a roughly about 1.5 to 2 bar in a very, very small tight gap under a millimetre. And as the crankshaft turns, the crankshaft, um, the oil prevents metal on metal contact. So once the oil pump chain breaks and the engine is running with no oil pressure, the crankshaft is, is rotating and there is metal on metal contact. So that's, that's where the damage is done. Also, pistons moving up and down the, the liners. Um, there is no lubrication in, in, in that movement either. So you could get metal on metal contact. So you, you, you can't simply replace an oil pump chain and give a car back to a customer without knowing that there's damage done to the engine. The engine needs stripped. And in this case, there is damage to this crankshaft. There is scoring on the main journals, which is hard to see because of the light. There's scoring on the big end journals. So that crankshaft will need sent to the engineering shop. Um, that will be checked for balance, trueness. That will be surface ground. There will be bearings to suit. The engine block will be sent to the same shop. They'll put the crankshaft in, make sure it rotates properly, make sure the liners, there's no damage to the liners. Um, obviously the oil pump chain will be replaced. That's all just parts, so the chains, gears, tensors, that's all parts you buy at, at, at the parts, ma the Mazda parts, you know, that's all, that's just parts, it doesn't mean anything. The, the main part of the make sure the engine's going to work right. Um, the cylinder head is another problem for these engines. You can see the carbon in the ports. That will be sent to the engineering shop. That will be decoked. Valves will be decoked. New valves, same oil, valves, same oil seals. Cylinder head will be checked, pressure tested, skimmed. Um, all that stuff will be done before the engine gets rebuilt. The turbos will need to be redone also because, again, there's bearings inside the turbos. They have been running without any oil pressure, so they'll need stripped uh, and redone. Um, so, yeah, that is um, what an engine looks like when the oil pump chain breaks on a Mazda CX-5 or Mazda 6 Skyactiv. And if you like what you see, just hit the like button, share it, do all that nice stuff, leave a comment, and... Thanks for watching and uh, watch out for the next video.